The whole page. Oh, okay, turn. Take yes. turns? Yes. There were no silk stockings because of the war. In the summer, Leola and I would mix jerkin hand lotion with iodine to make a brown paste to cover our legs so our legs would look brown. <laughs> it worked very well. The lotion would rub off on the hem of our dresses, and Mother didn't like that. In the winter, we wore heavy knee sacks that were not very flattering. My parents and I disagreed about shoes. Either Mom or Dad picked out our shoes, whichever one took us shopping. I would get so angry and cry because I could not choose my own shoes. When I was in high school, I earned my own money cleaning houses and other chores so I could shop and choose my own shoes. I have always liked wearing classy shoes and boots. The summer of 1942, a neighboring rancher asked my dad if I could come and help him with his hay harvest. My dad agreed, and so I set off on a great adventure. Dad took me to the train station in Cascade and bought me a ticket to ride to Craig, Montana. <laughs> and all of the fishermen and Andy and all his family, are they already know where that is. We know where that is. They're actually yeah. going to recreate this journey from this page. They're going to do it. And bought me a ticket to ride to Craig, Montana, a distance of about 20 miles. I was instructed to get off the train in Craig and walk back along the train track towards Cascade to the first small stream that flowed into the Missouri River. I followed the path along this small stream up to the top of the hill where there was a small log cabin. An older woman was staying in the cabin to be my cook for the week that I cut the hay. There were two horses in a small corral and the cutting machine and all the tack needed for the horses was there. I worked for a whole week cutting the hay and helping the other hay crew workers that showed up to rake and harvest the hay. I made enough money in this one week to buy all of my school clothes and also all of Leola's school clothes. I was also able to buy my own shoes and I picked out the shoes I wanted because I was paying for them. I learned a valuable lesson from this experience that hard work could reward me with freedom and the ability to make my own choices. It's no cool. wonder Colleen wanted her own shoes at two. <laughs> well, that's a great child. that's